and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Malphite. That's right. We are going to be playing Talia in ranked. Let's give it a try. We got a brand new champion here that has to deal with landmarks with Malphite and we got a bunch of new landmarks to help give some more landmark support to Talia. And I'm not sure if Talia is going to be good enough. You know, we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to see but we're going to combine these two together, Talia, Malphite, uh, with this list. So kind of, so I'll kind of talk about some of the cards that I put in here. Um, of course, Chip is going to be a great one drop for us. And then we have our early landmark stuff, two blue Sentinels and three Rock Hoppers, both put two cost landmarks into play. I'm going to try Rockfall Path. You know, um, I haven't played too much of this card yet, but Countdown 2, Obliterate My Weakest Enemy. I think that this could work very well with Talia, where Talia summons the exact copy of an allied landmark. Um, I want to try those two together. Um, so basically, my my plan here is to like play Rockfall Path first, and then you know the next round it's Countdown One, and then you copy it with Talia. So now they're both they're both Countdown One, and then the round after that, you know, you obliterate two enemies. I just feel I feel like that's kind of nice, even though it's it is the weakest enemy. You know, beggars can't be choosers, <laughs> right? So it's only unfortunately just the weakest enemies. But still, turning Talia, you know, that can turn Talia into a removal spell kind of thing of obliterating an enemy. So let's give that a try. Um, we're going to uh, try some Earth Elementals in here, just being super big blocker. Obviously, Merciless Hunter because that card's too good. But we're going to try some Earth Elementals, just being a six-five overwhelm hopefully most of the time hopefully we can summon four landmarks for that i've been really impressed with ground slam being a uh, three damage spell for us we're gonna play some of those eye of the rework isn't gonna really do very much except for just kind of level up our two champions that's kind of its job it does a little bit of stunning to slow the opponent down a little bit Could then go to try out some stone breakers we're gonna play the full three copies of these these are gonna basically be like our devour the depths you know, be going to be the six mana unit that has the playability to kill something. So deal four to the enemy and two to the enemy nexus. So that's going to be our that's going to be our deck. We're going to go ahead and, and give it a try. So Talia Malphite. Hopefully we can get some wins. Let's head on over to ranked and see how it does. Yeah, I could see that, Jack. I could see without playing like. Like maybe you need like the countdown, the speed up the countdown cards for it, or just like other removal for it. I'm gonna try it out, but I can see it underperforming. All right, got a good test right away. Aurelia Azir. We'll see if we can stabilize against the fast aggro deck. Right negation certainly going. And I guess I keep the rest. Like, I guess we keep Talia. I'm not sure, though. I could see Mulliganing Talia because, you know, it is a five-mana card against this fast matchup where I don't really have the... I don't really have the, uh, the landmark to copy right now. The five mana landmark jack. All right, ancient preparations. Now I could wait. No, that's not really worth copying. Let's get that in play. Okay, here we go. So I am taking the thing to obliterate the the small units. What's up, high tech? Atrios, welcome also. The here's with me. All right, green clay duo is good. Would you look at this place? Last Rome buys me an All the rock hoppers. Oh dear. 
Azir is going to kind of be one of the weaker enemies, as far as this thing goes. But of course, I can ground slam the Azir now. I think I'm just going to wait. I challenge it the next round. If it's made of sand, I can light. Everything's vulnerable. I know you wanted to play your Blade Dancer, but it's going to be vulnerable. Your Irelia. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Let's move. Every canyon. And punch. Remember this day. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Out of my way. So if I play Talia first, they may not play anything, and then I would waste that. But then I do get to attack with a leveled up Talia. I probably just need to attack with a leveled up Talia. So unfortunately, I guess they're going to keep the Azir alive. Get rid of the other two. That Blade Dancer worked out pretty well right there. Man. <laughs> oh, these, these things are relentless. Azir is a great champion. So you're definitely their best card. Yeah, it's just a, there's just no way for this to win. Zero too good. I guess that's a card in that deck that I could actually see being nerfed is Azir. I could see Azir being nerfed. Especially down to like a 1-4 instead of a 1-5. Okay, another Azir deck. We don't love that. All right, so I like those three. We're gonna mulligan the Preservarium. We're probably not gonna have time to play Preservarium with playing this other stuff. See what we see.
Alright, so we got these stone cards this time. Earth Elemental, Stone Breaker. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. I guess Blue Sentinel is a pretty stone type card. How can you play landmarks? <laughs> like, how can you just spend mana on landmarks? <laughs> like, your opponents just play cards that kill you. What are you doing over here just playing landmarks? Like, what are you doing? Oh man, I don't, I don't know. No options any good. Doomkeeper into House Spider into Merciless Hunter. Like, how, how can you take any turn off, like, with that? Sure yeah, then Azir. It only awaited my return. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's... It's the beginning of the format. It's definitely be aggro or be able to stop aggro. Great curve opponent. Much better at this game than we are. Good job. A hot, there's not going to be any kind of hot fix next week if you're expecting like a, a nerf next week. That's that's not going to happen. You got to give you got to give it time for people to to play other things, right? Because like like I said, like I have like like that Zoe Shivana deck that we played earlier. That deck's great against the all these Aurelia and Azir decks. You can just you know play that deck. Um, like there's going to and so like people are going to adjust. We are currently just, you know, we're trying Talia and Landmarks, and that isn't going to be able to stay, like, Landmarks aren't going to be good enough against the real fast aggro decks. But yeah, it, it will, like, metagame will balance itself out. Alright, let's get more Merciless Hunters. Yeah, it, Beginning of the format, it's much easier to build an aggro deck than a than a slower mid range control deck with the you know having the right interaction and everything. It's yeah, it's real easy to build those kind of decks right away, and that's all right. Four plus landmarks for that. Let's get this over with. Let me show you what I can do. Gonna find a kid. 
it for Renekton! Right, Arda? Okay, Nasher, what do you want me to do with the predictions? Okay, so will we win now? Sure hope they don't have another death lotus. Transfusion. So we got to kill the Braum. That's step number one. So I guess... Yeah, Talia with the... Attack ability, not very good against Scar Grounds. Well, I guess, okay, so it's dealing two to the blocker. So if it's tough, it's still dealing one. Like, if I challenge this, it kills that, right? Okay, yeah, it does kill that. All right, and now the Rockfall Pass are going to do their job, get rid of these two things. So we end up with... <laughs> Good thing they, they drew every unit. Alright, so Malphite will be leveled up. 
Hey, we found Malphite. No, I was gonna play leveled up Malphite. Gonna get that cool animation. Okay, we got the win. Yeah, maybe we should have tall. Yeah, maybe we have promising future. <laughs> you promising future that thing, so it doubles, and then Talia doubles it, and then you obliterate four. Whoa, Jason with the VIP. Garen with so this is gonna be like elites. Haven't played against this deck in a while. Elites with like harrowing. Been a minute. Jason, getting that VIP. Gonna write you down on the VIP list. And I'm gonna VIP you. JSO zero N nine nine. Make sure that works. Okay. Um Uh, I want to keep this right negation. Like they're they're playing the Shadow Isles for, you know, for harrowing and stuff like that. Oh man, got so punished for keeping right negation. Got another one. Got real punished. So that's what I was definitely thinking. I was thinking that the, the Rockfall Path could maybe kill the Battlesmith. We love it when they I don't know why I don't just like challenge the Battlesmith. I guess I could just do that. To the field. So soon. Oh well, it's getting obliterated. So this is working out pretty well so far. Okay, we haven't played four landmarks yet for that. Um, probably just going to want to have access to a ground slam. Copying the ancient preparations just isn't great because you just get an additional 2 1, but we maybe should copy it just to help level up our Talia and everything. So it's just an, or an additional 2 2. Which it really isn't that great. That's why maybe I should have grabbed the Preservarium instead of the Ground Slam so I could have played Preservarium this turn and then copy Preservarium and drawn a lot more cards. That's probably what I should have gone for and then just tried to draw into another Ground Slam. Watching. That's good. Yeah, just get more tutus. I just don't even want. Do I want another tutu? No. So that's that's what I should have grabbed. Pro ancient preparations. Oh, getting so punished. Now I don't have the four landmarks for Earth Elemental. We will not hesitate. Got really punished there. I should have copied it. 
Too greedy. Bannerman's still good. Oh man, that's the card I needed. Show them what we're made of. That's the card I needed. Show them our metal. Okay, so we have one right negation for the four Demacia. Turn the stones. You would test my steel. Does do a lot of damage. Two four Demacias. That's nice that that costs zero, so they still get to play both four Demacias. This game's over. Assuming they just play the other one. With that extra attacker. Alright, you got me elite. Should I should have let the single combat happen. I shouldn't have countered the single combat. Oh, well, they just have another C3 or two. GG's. The Obliterate Landmark's been one of our best cards, the two-mana Obliterate Landmark. Yeah, like, that's not breaking news, saying Talia is bad. Yeah, Talia... Talia's been the worst champion ever since she was printed. Like, that's not that's not breaking news. Talia's not any good. <laughs> but I think that Talia is better now than what she was before. Like, we got some more support for Talia, but no, it's still not... We're trying. Kind of need Preservarium, though. I don't know why Talia wasn't buffed whenever, like, they just nerfed, like, Atrocity and stuff. It I don't know why they wouldn't have buffed Talia, but they didn't. Hey, what's up, Gibshot? Like, Talia could definitely be, like, a 3-6, like the other five-man champions, like Swain and, and Thresh. Like, it, it could easily be a 3-6. And it, it's not like it would make the card too good or anything like that. Um... Sure, 
Never, never fell. It only awaited my return. Well, good thing I kept Preservarium. He said sarcastically. Found all the Preservariums. Chip. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. Spin it round, throw it down. <laughs> Azir is the broken card in this deck. It really is. Azir is about to be leveled up. Uh, we today we we've played against this deck, um, two, four, five, six, seven. I think seven times today. In every single game, they've had at least one. Most every you know most of them two is years. Blade Dance with Azir is busted, but we saw we saw Blade Dance isn't busted because we saw that like with Irelia Quinn trying that out, and Blade Dance looked pretty bad with Quinn. Um, it wasn't very good, but with Azir and where when you get Sand Soldiers and then they're all buffed, that's that's busted. Or if you'd have Misfortune and you have like the bullets to go along with it, that would be pretty busted. But um, with. All right, well, there we go. That was <laughs> Talia Malphite. That was a quick video um, right there. Uh, you know, <laughs> we either, like, lose really fast or we can maybe hold on a little bit and play a little bit of a longer game. But, yeah, Talia, still just not good enough. You know, wanted to try a, a new Talia deck. Um, possible that I should be playing more of, like, these Earth Elementals and more of, like, the, the Countdown cards and stuff like that. But it's, uh, it's kind of tough with there's it's hard to justify playing landmarks when your opponents are like playing like as we saw with like some of those opponents how aggressive like these curve curve outs are with these azir decks and how they're just attacking you so fast like how can you just spend unit mana and spend rounds to play something that takes up a spot on your board and doesn't doesn't slow your opponent down doesn't attack doesn't block um you know how can how can you do that like how you know like you're just dead and we saw that with those games like if you do that you die that's why cards like Rock Hopper and Blue Sentinel are a little bit better because they can give you some landmarks while putting bodies in play that can attack and block. Um, but there's just not the interaction, right? Like your opponent plays in his ear, you just can't possibly kill it when you're playing these landmarks. They just didn't they didn't design the land the landmarks powerful enough for um, you know for constructed play with how good these aggressive decks are. Uh, so if you, you know, like, as far as like, like Malphite, I think Malphite's plenty playable. Malphite's still fine. Talia's, you know, trying to build around Talia and just all landmarks is kind of a problem. But we saw like Malphite with Leona, our deck yesterday. I think that deck's really good, right? Like we, we could have easily gone five and oh, but we had two opponents top deck the the one card they needed to kill us, um, you know, right at their, their last draw step. And that, so we ended up three and two, but, but the Malphite Leona, that deck's real. Because that, that deck, you, you know, you're playing lots of blockers and everything with all the Daybreak cards, and you, you just have this Eye of the Rahoric, and Malphite just closes out games. And uh, we've kind of found, like, even against, like, these other, like, this thing just blocks really well. Seven mana is not too expensive to be able to play whenever you're playing good defense with every single other turn. And then ten tough, really hard to get through. I've been impressed with Malphite. Malphite's looked good. 
but all right there we go that's talia malphite all right so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments let me know if you got any ideas for talia with all of these new cards maybe you know maybe have to focus more on the countdown stuff right like maybe that's what you got to do um all these new countdown cards got any good ideas with that you know with um with talia and you know maybe try to you may, maybe that's what you gotta do try to find like rock bears and you know the 88 overwhelms and stuff like that and count down all the the landmarks um so yeah if you got any kind of lists like that feel free to let me know in the comments but thank you so much for watching some talia malphite and i will see you for the next video